It's a disturbing trend in urban areas, deer being used as target practice. Some die, others left to suffer with arrows lodged into different parts of their bodies. The latest case comes days after hunting season officially opened in a populated area used by families. Police saying tonight this kind of action is a threat to public safety and as Kylie Stanton explains, officials say it won't be tolerated. A warning before this report, there are images in this that some viewers may find disturbing. The wound is still fresh, but it's too late. Yeah, it didn't even go right through. Hit with an arrow overnight, this deer is now lifeless. I attended this morning, took a look, and confirmed one dead doe with a crossbow bolt uh, through the chest. It happened on the Department of National Defense property, near the Wanda Fuca Recreation Center and outside a daycare facility, what's considered a threat to public safety. The concern for us is if you miss your target and this thing travels, you have no control over where it ends up. But it happens every year. We've got some lunatic out in our backyard here shooting a crossbow with practice arrows. Last December, conservation officers were on the hunt for wounded deer in the Hammond Bay neighborhood, hit with crossbow arrows and left to suffer. While the number of deceased found in the capital region grew. Now with hunting season officially open once again, officials are prepared for history to repeat itself. We will be watching uh, the, the deer in our community and the animals in our community in general and we will be monitoring to see if this continues this year. This is Wild Ark's deer enclosure. The unseen victims of the crime often land here at Wild Ark. Fawns are being nursed back to health after the death of a mother left them abandoned. While dealing with urban deer is difficult, Kerry Marks believes crossbows are not the solution. If it will cause suffering unduly to the animal. Uh, it may get them in a spot that is, will not ultimately cause death, but just a lot of pain and suffering. Or it will be a very long and painful death. The DND military police are investigating this latest case where a variety of offenses have been committed. If the person's apprehended, they could be facing charges under the Wildlife Act and possibly the Criminal Code. It serves as a warning. Acts like this will not be tolerated.